hello everybody and welcome back to another minecraft video and in this video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on a villager powered crop farm so like carrots this can produce you carrots and potatoes we can also do a bread farm but i'm not going to do that in this tutorial because they're a little bit different and they're a little bit harder to build so i'll do that in another video so this one's just for carrots and potatoes so the first thing you want to do when you want to build one of these is um, you want to uh, start up with a frame like this. So like it doesn't really matter how big you build the actual square, but I recommend don't build it any bigger than 15 by 15 or 20 by 20. And then you want to have like a little square on the outside like this. This is for all of your redstone. So you have a place to put all your redstone in for this. So once you have like this little frame built, feel free to pause the video because you might still be working on it. But before you, but after you have this built, you want to make sure you have nice grass down here. And then over here is where you actually, this is where the villagers are actually going to be placed. So you want to build a little something on this side here. In fact, you could probably even build it smaller than that. There you go. So you want to just want to build just a little container here for your villagers. Perfect. And then on the floor, then you kind of want to you want to dig this down, just like this. Then you want to put stairs. Not like that though. You want to put stairs around like this. And you can also replace these with that. Then you want to dig all this down here. All this needs to get dug down like two blocks. So you have to dig all this down two blocks. That's the first layer. You want to dig it down. Actually, I think that's good. So then you want to get out yourselves out a dropper. And you just want to place the dropper just like on the outside here. And you can have your, or you can actually, I'd rather place it in the middle though. And you can just have your dropper here and have your hoppers feeding into it. Then from right here, you want to have two hoppers on each side like this, feeding into the middle hopper line there. And then you want to add a back to it, just like that. You can kind of put up a little bit of, just put some more wood up there so you don't have to like look up there. You want to go out a fence. Now this fence is actually very important. If you don't have this fence, the farm will not work. So if you put a fence here, because there's going to be a village, a villager just standing in here who is hungry. And then there's going to be a villager out here farming all the crops. Then when his inventory gets full, he wants to share with that guy. But then when he does, he throws the food, but it hits the fence and falls into the hopper. So then what you want to do then is once you have this complete you just want to cover this top area up here with slabs just like this <laughs> Okay, so once you have that done then you want to have you want to place dirt around the outside of this, but everywhere but this area here. This is where your hoppers and everything are going to be. So you just want to place dirt around like the entire outside of this. <laughs> Once 
you have all of the dirt in place of this, you, you want to break these slabs here. Because this is where your hoppers and stuff are going to go. You wanna, and you want to break these too. And then on the outside right here, you want to place, so like right where this piece of wood is, you want to place another dropper, but you want this dropper to be facing downward. So like that. And then down here, you want to place a hopper on top of the dropper. Then you just want to place blocks going up like this. And then don't place any blocks in there because that's where your items are going to be flowing down into. And just do that. Just like that. You wanna you can actually place blocks like this. There's gonna be a little bit we're gonna be doing a little bit of redstone work in here, so you don't want to place any blocks there yet. So you can have then you just have something like this, and you're gonna want to break these two blocks because we're gonna have a little bit of redstone work there too. And once you have your dropper in place, place hoppers going all the way like that, two hoppers on this side. Two hoppers on this side and there you go now you want to extend your framework or your building up more because you want to do another floor so you want to go one because you got the dirt there so you want to go one block like this then you want to go another four so one two three four in other words go up five blocks including the dirt block Then you want to frame it in on the top. Just like this. And you want to go another five blocks up on these uh, on this side. Whoops. And there we go. Once you got that done, you then you can place your blocks like that. And you want to go two up, so then your villagers can't actually like walk through the like. So then it would actually look a little bit better. Otherwise, then you're you would be able to see the dirt through the glass. And it wouldn't really look good. So make sure you go up another two blocks. And keep in mind, you, you do know you can use any block palette that you want. I'm just using oak wood and stuff. But you can use any block palette that you want on your builds. And you just want to go all the way around the outside like this. And there you go. And then... For this, you want to do the same thing that you did on the bottom floor. Just build this going all the way up. And there you go. And in the back here, you want to have blocks coming in like this. And you can do something like that. And you can have your fences. You got to have your fence again. like that and there you go you can also do that and now you want to place do the slabs again on the top except you can actually break these I mean you don't have to otherwise it would look a little weird so you can actually just do this to make it look a little bit better <laughs> Okay, once you have that done, you actually want to get out your glass and your redstone, but we're not going to put the glass in yet, but we're going to put in all the redstone components. So you need to get some redstone comparators, 
some redstone dust. You want to go back out to the, where your droppers are back here. And you want to actually make like a very simple redstone clock. So it's not complicated redstone at all. It's very simple. So, and it's actually very easy to get. You just want to have a comparator going into a block on heat on this side, repeater going out of there, then a repeater going into the dropper, and this redstone dust on everything else, just like that. And now that, that's just an automatic dispensing system. So you want to do the same thing on the bottom here, where you see this dropper. You want to break these two blocks here. And you actually might have to dig back on the bottom a little bit here. There really isn't any room back there, isn't there? Is there? So with this dropper, you might have to face it down, but like, yeah, we're, that's going to be kind of hard to do on a super flat world. So we're just going to do this for now for this, for this tutorial, but we'll just hit, so what, what you want to do is just do the same thing as on top of there. And you would have the redstone repeater going into the dropper there. So I'll, I'll just turn the dropper and I'll, and you have my, I'm, I'm, for this tutorial, I'm going to have to turn the dropper about 90 degrees so it faces in this direction. But for you, this probably wouldn't be an issue. So we're just going to do that and we're going to have our water stream on this side. Just like that. And then you can just, then you can cover all that up. Just like that. And just to make it look a little bit better, you can actually make it a little more symmetrical. And there you go. And if I were you, I would just cover everything in there because people who are walking by they probably don't want to see your redstone inside your build most people try to hide their redstone so it's very simple redstone so when i say like redstone it's not very complicated stuff and that's pretty much the dispensing system all done so now what you want to do is have stairs just running around like this do the same thing on the bottom floor oh i already did so now the next thing we should be thinking about is lighting. So I'm use, I'm going to use glowstone, but you can use torches or sea lanterns or whatever you want to use. You just want to have like lighting. You can have it, you could space it out however you want, just as long as you don't have zombies or anything spawning down here. If a zombie spawns down here, it'll kill your villagers and break your farm. So you kind of want to be a little careful about that. If you're an OCD freak, you can line you can have these lined it up line you can line these up a little bit better, but I'm just lining them up like this. I mean, that might bug some people. So if you're building this, you can you can like change that up a little bit, but I have it centered here and like that. So with this, this is actually pretty much the system pretty much done. So what you want to do next is have your villager. So the villager inside the fence can literally be any old villager. It doesn't matter what kind it is. It can be any old villager. Just kind of throw that in there. Throw him in there. Now you want to go in with a hoe. And you just want to, and you want to just till all of the land. Oh, wait, but before you do that, you don't want to forget about the water sources you have to put in here. Otherwise, your farm will not, like, your tilled land will not actually stay tilled. It'll actually turn back. So you just want to get some water in there. Just like this. Whoops, that is not water. There we go. Then you might want to cover up your water sources. I'm going to use trap doors, but you can use any not non-full block you want. So you could use lily pads, carpet, stairs, or slabs, or whatever. But I'm just going to use trap doors. There we go. 
You want to do the same thing to the upstairs. Whoopsies. The pocket edition's a little glitchy. I actually took out, uh, grabbed out my hoe, didn't I? Oh dear. Okay. Just want to throw some, and yeah, the waterlogged slabs. That's a thing too. You might want to be a little careful about that. Not sure how I'm gonna get rid of that now. Here. Yeah, that's the one thing about the aquatic update is that the, you have to make sure that you actually click on the dirt block. Don't click on the slab below, otherwise it'll just waterlog the slab below it and it might, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to fix. So just be a little careful with that. Once you have that, just place trap doors in your water. Then grab out your hoe and you can just till your till your land. Whoops. Just be careful though. You might accidentally open up your trap doors. The lighting in here is actually more for the farm itself to grow. So if you don't put lighting in here, I don't think any mobs will be able to spawn because there's actually no spawnable blocks in here other than these. But if you just put torches right there, you should be fine. But if you do, put, but keep in mind though, if you do use lighting, it'll actually, your crops will actually grow a lot faster. Because your, your crops will actually grow slower in the dark than they would in the light. You just want to till your land on both of the layers. And I'll be right back when this layer. And once you have that all completed, now you want to actually get out your glass. You just want to place that. You just want to place that like around the farm. It doesn't matter what kind of glass you use. Just, it's just here to keep your villagers inside. And don't put a doorway going inside because villagers can actually open doors and they'll be able to escape. So just, just cover the entire thing with glass. If you have to get in there for some reason, just break the glass and then replace it. Just want to do this all the way around. Go on this side. And on this side. Once you have all the glass in place, now it's time to actually spawn in your villagers. So you only want to have one farmer villager per, per row. If you have more than one villager, it'll just be kind of chaos. So what you want to do is just throw a villager in here. If he's not a, if he's not a brown coat, then it's not going to work. So make sure that it's a brown coat. Might be a little while. Why am I not getting any brown coats? That is a white coat. I need a brown coat. There we go. So you want villagers like that. Does I mean it doesn't have to be a farmer villager. It can be it can be any brown coat. They have the ability to plant and farm crops. And then for this floor, I'm gonna use carrots. But you can you but you can have the potatoes and carrots switch. It doesn't really matter. So just whoops, don't want to kill that guy. You just want to throw your carrots. I mean you don't have to plant them all right away. 
you can just plant it you can just plant a little layer like that and they'll grow they'll farm until the whole farm is done it until the whole farm has crops on it then they'll start sharing with him you want to do the same thing on the bottom floor make sure you get a make sure you get a a brown coat villager in here it has to be a brown coat so I mean here it'll probably be a little bit easier I mean it'd probably be a little bit easier in survival mode because you could just pick the brown coats from your villager breeder but creative mode it's not that easy because you spawn them in and uh, you never get what you need there we go any, then for this floor, we're going to do... So let's just throw some potatoes down in here, just like that. Oh, of course you would run outside. That's a thing, that's the only, that's the one thing that sucks with villagers, is that if you leave one gap open for them to walk out, they'll walk out. Uh, yeah. Now I gotta do this again. Keep doing this until he gets the right, until I get the right villager. Keep getting white coats. I wish I would get more of those in my realm. I'm not getting any brown coats. Cleric, nope. Another white coat, nope. Uh, that's not gonna work either. Nope. Nope. I'll be right back. Okay. As soon as I cut the video, the next villager that I got was a brown coat. So we got all our villagers in place. And the hard part of this farm is actually complete. So now we're actually going to do the water stream to your storage area. Just gonna, I got to fix this. So I think I have the hop or the dropper facing in this direction right down here. There it is. So you got your dropper right here. Oops. You just want to do this. So then here you want to place ice in here. You don't have to do ice for everything, but where there's a gap, you gotta, you're gotta. you going to have to have ice. That's probably the most expensive part of this build is ice. So you just want to have like ice just kind of going back out to here until you want to actually drop it out or like so then you want to get a hopper you want to get a dropper dropper so you want to have your dropper, so we got to clear out a little bit of area here for the redstone. So you want to have your dropper just kind of facing up like that. And you want to have your hopper like this. Then you want to place a tower of droppers going up like that. And now we gotta do a little bit more redstone. So the basic kind of uh, item elevator that I know how to do is just kind of something like this. We're actually gonna have to dig this back a little bit further though. Okay. So you just wanna have, so you just do the comparator block, repeater, repeater, and you just do that actually get some blocks don't have any blocks Come on. okay then you just want to do it then you just want to put more blocks there do the same thing block repeater repeater redstone dust then you want to do it one more time or two more times repeater block and that's a comparator, then two repeaters there, redstone, 
and then you want to have your drop the top dropper want to have your top dropper facing this way or want it to just be facing like away from the redstone kind of just like that then you want to you can cover all that up i'm i'm just using the planks because that's what i have in my inventory you'll cut you can cover that up with whatever you want then all your items will actually come out of that dropper for this video i'm just going to put a chest right here and i'm going to change the random tick speed to 500 And we're going to go slash. I'm gonna have to change the time. It's time day. And as you can see, crops are growing super fast. The villager is farming it. Same thing going on up here. And eventually, this farm will actually start kicking into action. It's just got to wait a little bit here, but it might, even with a random tick speed of that much, it's going to be a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit of a while, but I'll be back as soon as I start seeing items dispensing. There we go. As you can see, this farm's actually starting to produce potatoes now, and the farmers in there are actually doing their jobs and planting and harvesting it. I did forget to put the water in here, so I had to do that real fast. So make sure you put water in there, otherwise your potatoes will just sit in there and despawn. So as you can see, it's producing potatoes. Well, I think it's going to do it for this video. If you like the tutorial videos and you make and you want me to make more, make sure you hit the like button, hit the like bu hit the like button, and subscribe. This is MC Storm. Peace. <laughs>